Hey, what's up guys? This is Rick and I'm showing you another tutorial about how to remove and replace a 2010, 2015, even 2016 Dodge Ram 1500, 2500, and 3500 rear bumpers. Now, it's pretty simple. You only need a couple tools to do it and it shouldn't take you longer than an hour, even if it's just one person to do. So without further ado, let me show you the tools. Alright, so the tools we need to take off this 2000 and 11 rear bumper we're going to start off with I have a 5 ace socket right there as you can see I've got a 5 ace socket here I got an impact driver a flathead screwdriver I got a couple different and pry bars that are all plastic these are all plastic they work great if you don't have them you should order a set uh, you can get them off Amazon I think I bought this set for like 30 bucks for all those and I've had them for about two years three years now uh, I have a half inch driver and a 3 8 inch driver. I'm going to be using the 3 8 obviously with my uh, 5 8 socket and my impact driver. And what we're going to do is we're going to attack this rear bumper starting with the behind the license plate. So you're going to have to remove the license plate. You have a, a bolt here and a bolt there. Those are both 5 8 There's really only six bolts that hold this entire bumper on. There's two right here, two right here, and two right there on the other side. So we'll go ahead and we'll take out these two right now. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and remove these two. We're going to go underneath the car now and we're going to show you the four other bolts that you need to take out. Alright, so we're going to go underneath the car now. And if you look right here, you see the two bolts that we need to take out. This one here and this one up top here. Be careful, I'm actually holding this bumper up with my knee uh, on the left side so it won't drop and fall on me. Um, remember, I, I only have two more bolts holding this whole bumper up. Uh, so we'll go to the left side of the bumper and remove that those two screws over there all right so now we're going up underneath the driver's side and you can see there's our two bolts on the driver's side here and here now I have a, a hitch that's holding up my bumper from falling down in the center so if you don't have a hitch, remember, please have something underneath there to support so that you're not uh, having a, a bumper fall on you. Alright, so all my screws are out now. The next thing I'd tell you to do is start disconnecting some of your wires. Uh, you have a wire right here, your bulb for your license plate, and it's just a twist. All you have to do is twist it off. Same goes for this side here. Just twist it off, it comes right out. The hardest plug on all of these is this mf -er right here. And that's your trailer plug. I always have difficulty pulling these trailer brakes out and putting them in the new bumpers. All right, so as you can see, uh, it's pretty lightweight. I'm just gonna lift up here and I'm gonna pull it out. And when I do that, remember your trailer hitch light is here, and we need to remove that. Okay, so the last one I did was a pain in the butt. It was also on a 3500. It had two tabs left and right. This one looks like it's going to be a little easier. You're going to press this tab here, and you're going to pull off like that. So if you can see that, this tab here. That's what you got to press to pull that out. The bottom is just a slide, has nothing to do with it. So you're just going to depress this and pull it out. So we got our bumper off now and we'll start disassembling the bumper and putting the stuff on the new bumper. Okay, so we have the bumper on the tailgate now and we need to remove this support bracket and this support bracket. We also need to remove your tag lights which illuminate your tag at night and toe plug 
And after that, we'll take off our accent plastic pieces to snap into our new bumper. So we're gonna go ahead and take out this screw, this screw, this screw, and sorry, I always say screws, they're bolts, I know. Um, our bumper came with new bolts, but we're gonna use the old ones. These bolts are carriage bolts, and they do not come out unless they are inside of the hole. You can see the head is a flat head, okay? So there's no screw driver you can put in there. There's nothing you can uh, place to hold it. It has, and I, I loosened this one to go ahead and show you, it has a square hex head on the end of it, and it fits into a slot, and the slot actually holds it so it doesn't go in place. So all you need is an impact driver to take these off and make sure that the screw head on the opposite side is not spinning. Push it in so that the square of the carriage bolt is held so that the nut comes off of the bolt. And I'll do that in a second here and show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so we're going to start with this one here. Now, I have a pair of pliers. Um, you don't have to use a pair of pliers, but sometimes it helps by holding the carriage bolt in, in place, where inside of the metal where it needs to uh, grip, if you will, to the hex head so that we get a bite. We're going to stick our impact driver in here and it comes right out. Now I'll show you what I mean by that carriage end here. See how there's a square end in here? That actually holds in place so that it doesn't spin when you're screwing on the carriage bolt, the, the, the nut onto the bolt. So that there's a square inside of here that holds that in place so you so it doesn't turn while you're screwing the nut on. So we'll go ahead and we'll take the other nuts off. And we're working on the last carriage bolt here, uh, getting that out. So what we gotta do is apply pressure to the back side again. Hopefully we can uh, get this thing to stay in enough to be able to unbolt that nut off the carriage bolt there. And it looks like it wasn't enough. I'm going to try a vice grip now and see what happens. And we're working on the last carriage bolt here, uh, getting that out. So what we got to do is apply pressure to the back side again. Hopefully we can. Uh, get this thing to stay in enough to be able to unbolt that nut off the carriage bolt there. And it looks like it wasn't enough. I'm going to try a vice grip now and see what happens. Okay, so I got my vice grip obviously on the support bracket. That's what the inside of the vice grip is on, and the back side of it is just touching the carriage bolt. So it's applying pressure to both sides. We'll see what happens now. And it worked. So let me see if I can get you a better view of what's going on here. Inside there, you can see that I got the I have the outside of the vice grip just on the edge of that carriage bolt and the inside I have it on the lip of the support bracket and that will keep it steady so you can get that so you can get that carriage bolt off. So we'll do the other side now. Alright, round two. Alright, so I broke it free, gotta use the vice grip again. I'm gonna have to take off this bracket here in order to get to that. So I'll take off that bracket now. These, these bolts are number 10s, so we'll take these out. These are fairly easy. They actually do have 
uh, number 10 heads on either side so they're not carriage bolts. That's out of the way. So now we can access this better, the top of the head. And look at that, it worked. So that's what I had to do to get that one out. Um, it all depends on the weather, how yours came in contact with the weather. We'll take the other two out up in the top. We got these two in the top. Uh, again, I'm going to take my pliers and I'm going to work the plastic top. So I can get to the back side of the carriage bolts if needed. Apply pressure, see if this works. That one worked. I just applied a little pressure between the plastic guard and the carriage bolt head. See if this one works too. If you put PB Blaster or WD-40 on these heads, you'll be able to get them out a little bit easier. I can actually see this one and it uh, doesn't look like this one's going to be easy. I'm going to need a little bit more room in here to access this one. There is a tab underneath here. Uh, again, I'm, I'm depressing these tabs. There's one here, there's one here, there's one here, and it's lifting the uh, rubber cover off of the top of the bumper there, giving me more access to work inside. You see that? I'm getting more room. Now, that, now I have access to this bolt right here. Okay, new, t new tool update. This right here is something you're going to need and I'll focus in for you. This is a swivel tip. It's 3 8 by 3 8 and obviously it goes on your 3 8 uh, head which is 5 8 socket and this end goes to your 3 ace driver. So it's gonna give you a little bit of wiggle room to get in there, see how that end is like that. So we're gonna place this where we need it. We got it. So we got that one there. Got this one here. Now all we got is that one in the back side over here. Let's see if that one slides out for us. Unfortunately, batteries are gonna take too long to charge, so I'm going caveman style. We're hitting back up socket wrench. This is just a regular 3A socket wrench. It'll probably work better too because I'm not going ballistic on it with an impact driver. I got one last tab inside here that I need to get out. Got that out. So 
now I have a lot more access to the top of this. Did that. And look at that. Comes right off. So we're done with all the pain in the ass bolts. And we'll get started on. There's your bracket. We'll get started on the the lights now. These are your lights here and here. They're very, 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 very simple to get out. Um, all you need is a flathead screwdriver. These are these lights right here are for your tag. You just simply put it in there, pry it out, and this little thing clip comes out, and the tag light pops right out. And that will slide in like that when you try to put in the new piece. So that's how it goes. It's very, very simple. So now we'll do this side here. Basically, same thing, you just put it in here, pry it up, pull it out, and this pops right out. Simple, simple, simple. Now, for your, for your trailer lights, I get a big pair of pliers. I depress both of these in, and that thing pops right out. So basically, press both of these in, and it'll pop right out. Just keep that, you know where that goes, not, not hard at all. For the rest of the bumper, it's pretty simple. All you have to do now is just remove all your, uh, the, the plastic that goes on the uh, left and right side of the bumper. And we've already pretty much done all that. There's a couple more tabs I need to take out, and I'll do that now. Doesn't matter. So there's the whole piece right there. Zoom out for you here. There's the whole piece. I just removed it. All these tabs right here are the tabs you use to put it back on to the new bumper. So without further ado, let's get the new bumper out. Okay, if you can't remember how this went on, pretty much, now if you noticed, I turned the, uh, Turn the bumper around because it was backwards. So I was trying to put the left bracket on the right side when the left obviously needs to go to the left. So anyways, this is what it looks like. Uh, and then this bracket here goes just like this. So the Y, I guess you could say it looks like a Y, goes against the outer side of the flare of the bumper, like that. And this obviously goes right here, so I'm going to start with my carriage bolts. Remember they go like that. Figure I wouldn't bore you because my batteries are still dead. So if you're wondering what I'm doing, all I'm doing is tightening the carriage bolts. So after they're done, I'll go ahead and move to the other side. Alright, now that all the bolts are secured, this bracket isn't going anywhere, you can go ahead and you can snap in your tabs for your top. Really don't need it to secure the other side. So now we're moving to our uh, tail light tab. I put it in, but it's real simple. I'm going to take it back out again. So you just put this in here like this, and then it goes just in here, and you slide this, so it basically kicks it back and doesn't fall in, just like that. So here are your two push pins, so take this out, and this one's going to be a little bit of a nuisance. I would put it like that and then take it, put it in, and then just push it up. And that's holding it. I got it. So that's where it needs to be set up right there. Just put two in to hold it in place. And there's two hand tight. Third, how about that? And I'll tighten all these down. 
obviously I'm not going to bore you with a socket tighten them all down. Now I'm going to pop all these in. Basically, you just put it in, snap it in. It's simple. Take our light here, set that in place, take our bracket. Voila, that's in place now too. So we'll go ahead and we'll hang our new bumper. That. And that rests on there for me. Now I can go ahead and I can uh, adjust left and right. We wanna get the gap just right on both sides. So we're gonna go underneath now and tighten those up and then we'll see where our gap is. All right, so we got our bumper on, and the gaps look good. Put all the bolts on where we took them off on the inside, and all I got left is to tighten these two up here. So I'll go ahead and tighten these up here. Folks, thanks for watching the video. Uh, if you have any questions, please comment below. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, I just did a fender on this truck, and I'm going to do the door. And we'll do a little paint and body uh, video and show you if you need any paint and body experience, what it takes. Uh, but thanks for watching the video and have a great day.